Why, just this morning, a lady asked me how long it would take to read the microfile in the time capsule. Uh, yeah, uh, we've been reading a lot about the time capsule. Could we take a look at it? Why, sure. We can get to it this way. Oh. Time capsule of cupoloi. Deposited on the site of the New York World's Fair on September 23rd, 1938 by the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company. If anyone should come upon this capsule before the year A.D. 6939, let him not wantonly disturb it, for to do so would be to deprive the people of that era of the legacy here left them. Cherish it, therefore, in a safe place. 5,000 years from now, the peoples of the future will look back on us as we look back on the early Egyptians and Babylonians. The time capsule down there is actually a message from our time to theirs. Those who open and study it will know more about us than any man living today. But Jim, how in the world do you know it'll last so long? Because the copper tools of the ancients have come down to us from even farther back. The capsule is made of a still better copper alloy called cupoloid. It's hard as steel and equal to pure copper and resistance to corrosion. Well, what I'm wondering is how anybody will know how to find it in the year, what was it, 69, 39? How to find it, what's in it. In fact, everything about it was printed in the book of record of the time capsule. It's on permanent paper and has been distributed throughout the world. To libraries, museums, lamasaries, monasteries, temples, every safe place imaginable. Well, who picked the stuff that was to go in it, Jim? A committee, aided by authorities in every field of science and the arts. It's a complete record of our civilization. Is this exactly like the capsule? Yes, and it's cut away so you can see how it's packed. These side cases show you the variety of things in there. <laughs> Look, here's a woman's hat. Well, ladies, that'll reveal a lot about us to future scientists. It sure will. They'll think we're nuts. <laughs> are these little reels the microfile? Yes. It's hard to believe, but on these small reels of film are reproduced all these books, papers, and magazines. It's a record of 10 million words and a thousand pictures. Well, how will they read them? A small microscope is included. But there are also instructions how to make a large reading machine. Also, how to make a motion picture projector for the three special newsreels. I suppose cloth, things like that are in it too. Everything from samples of fabrics to a dozen different kinds of common seeds. I bet a nickel I know something that isn't in it. Mickey Mouse. You'd lose, bud. Mickey Mouse, Dick Tracy, Barney Google, they're all there. Even toys and money. Why, the list of contents alone takes up 17 pages of fine print. Boy, they weren't fooling when they made that capsule, were they? It's the brains of the world done up in a small package. And it's the most permanent exhibit at the fair. It'll still be here when the rest of this place is nothing but dust. That's remarkable. Have you got time to show some of the other sites, Jim? Or they can use. You men go along. Jane wants to write some postcards home. We'll look around and meet you later. Well, that's the right.